today. Welcome to Crowds by Felicia. I'm so excited today. I'm participating in the Ugly Duckling Challenge hosted by Heidi Sambol over at Happily Thrive and Heidi and Corey from Desert DIY. I will post a link to their channels and the playlist below in the description box. So after this video, hop on over and check out these two very talented ladies and all the wonderful crafty women that's here on YouTube. All right, YouTube crafters, grab your hot coffee or your sweet tea, your hot glue gun, your Waverly chalk paint, and let's get crafty. This challenge, we were to go to the thrift store and pick out an ugly duckling piece and turn it into something that we could use in our home. I saw this picture and knew that I could make something pretty with it. I got it for $5 at my thrift store. I'm using a piece of leftover melamine that we had used on my craft table build. I got my husband to cut it down for me. It does have a couple of bad spots on it, but that's okay because I'm going to paint over it. I got this bag of wine corks from the thrift store for like a dollar. I will be using two of them. I picked up a pack of replacement rollers for a sliding screen door at Home Depot. They were under $2. I'm using this Rust-Oleum chalkboard paint. I got it from Home Depot. It was $4.50. I'm using three pickets from a picket fence that we took down from our backyard. I just cut them in half. First thing that I'm doing is I'm bending all the staples back with a flathead screwdriver. Once all the staples are bent back, I remove the pitcher from the pitcher frame. Taking my Rust-Oleum chalkboard paint, I spray two coats of the chalkboard paint on my melamine board, allowing the paint to dry in between the coats. Next, I took my pickets that I had cut down and sanded each side, including the top and the bottom of them. Taking my Waverly wax paint in the color antique, I applied one coat on each board, front, front and back, and wiped it off with a cloth. Don't forget the edges also. I measured the width of my five boards and took my sixth piece of board and cut it into two eight inch strips. Now that I have my two eight inch strips, I sanded where my cuts were and I touched it up with my antique wax. Once my two strips were dry, I used my hot glue gun and glued each piece to the top and bottom of my door so that the wood would hold my door into place. Using my nail gun, I nailed my 8 inch strip to my top and bottom of my door. I took my Waverly Wax in the color antique and I touched up where the nail holes were in my door. I inserted my melamine chalkboard into the picture frame and bent my staples back down. I picked up a small size dowel rod from Walmart it was only 62 cents. It's the smallest sized dowel rod that they carry. I painted the dowel rod using my Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. I painted my two wine corks with my Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. I painted two extra corks just in case I messed up in cutting the corks down. I cut a quarter of an inch off of both of the corks. I took both of my corks and my drill, and I drilled a hole halfway into my cork, up near the top. I took my dowel rod, and I put hot glue on the end of it, and I inserted the dowel rod into my cork, on both ends. I used my drill, and I drilled a hole on each corner at the top of my picture frame.
I turned my picture frame over and I lined up the frame with the corks. Then I took two screws and screwed the corks into place from the back of the picture frame. I took the two sliding spring rollers and drilled the back of the rivet out. Then I removed the roller. I took my roller and painted it with my Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. Now that my roller wheel is dry, I screwed each roller into a 5 inch piece of scrap wood that I painted black. Taking my ruler, I measured three and a half inches from the bottom of each piece of wood. I used a dab of hot glue on each piece just to hold it into place. Once the glue was dry, I turned the door over and using a screw, I screwed in the strip of wood onto the door. I really love the way the chalkboard picture turned out. I think it's so pretty. It fits in with my coffee bar perfectly. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.